everybody, uh, Dennis Steinman here again to talk about glamping. I thought what I'd do over the next several days, I'd talk about some different aspects of glamping. And the first question, of course, is what is glamping? And it comes up to people I talk to and uh, we tell them we're in the glamping business and uh, associated with the glamping market. And some, you get this deer in the headlights look and uh, some know what, you're, what you mean, but... Uh, you know, it's it's kind of interesting just to talk about it, and and I think from for our business standpoint, understanding uh, a little bit more about what we're involved in, and maybe putting it pen to paper, so to speak, is good. So I went out on the internet and I looked at some definitions of glamping, and I want to I'm gonna I'm gonna read a few that I came across. Um, glamping. Camping with some comforts and luxuries of home. Another definition was glamping. is where stunning nature meets modern luxury. Another, uh, actually from the uh, Merriam-Webster Dictionary, outdoor camping with amenities and comforts not usually used when camping. Okay. Um... Another one is a form of camping involving accommodations and facilities more luxurious than those associated with tr traditional camping. These are different definitions from different people and different perspectives, but the interesting thing is they all had common thread. They all contained, or, or there was a common thread of the very these various terms camping comfort luxury stunning nature amenities creative structures sustainable practices and engaging experience or unforgettable experience so if you know, if we really stop and think about it, uh, that's what it's all about. I mean, that's the general definition. And one one uh, piece of information I found was that the first glamping term may have been around 2005 and was first uh, in the Oxford English Dictionary around 2016. So no matter what those dates are, it's re it's relatively new. And we're involved. We're in. We're involved in a new industry. So, what I'd like to do over the next few videos is talk a little about some of these attributes. I think next time we'll talk about access to nature. We'll talk about comfortable accommodations, creative structures, sustainable practices, and engaging experiences. So, until next time, see you later out in the wilderness in a comfortable, creative structure, enjoying nature in an environmentally sustainable way. So, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.